Hey, thanks so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I'm really excited to be kicking things off with an After Effects tutorial on shortcuts. Bottom line, if you're editing in After Effects or even Premiere or whatever editing platform you're in, you need to be working with shortcuts. So with that being said, let's improve your edit times in After Effects. Let's get coffee. Let's go. Quick disclaimer before I get completely into After Effects. These shortcuts are designed for Mac users. So to open up After Effects, we're gonna command space bar and we can type in After Effects. It's gonna prompt with this window where you have the ability to open a new project or open a previous project. To open a previous project, you're gonna hit command O, but we're gonna wanna open up a new project here. And to do that, you're gonna option command N and we need to create a composition to work within. So to create a new composition, Command N. Okay, so we have now opened a new project, created a new composition. Let's go ahead and just save our project now so we have it, Command S. Make that a habit. Real quick, fix shortcuts. Uh, make that a habit. We need a title. Let's create a title. Shift, Option, Command, T. What you wanna do is hold Command, Enter, and that'll submit your text layer. Okay, so we want to toggle through some of the different properties that you can adjust for any given layer within your composition. To do that, we're gonna highlight our text layer here. Uh, we wanna be able to scale this. Scale is S. If you wanna reposition it, P. If you wanna rotate your text layer, R. If you wanna adjust the opacity, T. And if you wanna adjust the position of the anchor point to where it's set, A. You're gonna generally keyframe some of these properties. So let's go ahead and let's quickly keyframe the scale so I can show you a little trick that you can uh, that you can do with shortcuts to adjust your keyframes and to showcase all of your keyframes at once. When you're moving around in your timeline, if you wanna go frame by frame, a great keyboard shortcut to do that is holding command and moving your right and left arrows. Great, okay, so I've got my keyframes here set for my scaling animation. Play that through for you real quick. So let's say it's too fast for how I want it. If you highlight all of your keyframes and you hold down Option, and you grab this last endpoint and you drag it out, it's gonna keep all of your properties proportional, but it's gonna drag out the duration so it's something a little bit longer. Um, so let's, let's just say I've got a position keyframe, I've got an opacity keyframe, and I still have my scaling keyframe. I wanna be able to view all of these at the exact same time. So what I'm gonna do is on my keyboard hit U and it'll bring up all of the properties for that layer in your composition that have keyframes adjusted and you can see all of them. Go ahead and save our project, Command S in case anything crashes because everyone knows who works in Adobe, Adobe products are famous for crashing. My God. Let's look up at the top left section of our window here for our toolbar, which is up here in the top left. To access your hand tool, you're gonna hit H, and that's gonna bring up your hand, so you can move your canvas around in your composition window. If you wanna have a selection tool, you'll hit V. The rotation tool is W, quick rotation of your objects. If you want the pen tool, that is G. If say you wanna create a mask around your text layer, if you hit G again, it'll toggle through the various pen tool options. And then your shape tool, you'll hit Q. And again, like the pen tool, if you wanna to toggle through the various shapes, you can just continuously hit Q until you get it to the shape you want. Every shape has the option to have a fill or a stroke. If you come up here to your fill, if you hold option and click, it'll toggle through the various fill types you have, whether you want a solid fill, a gradient fill, or no fill at all. And the same goes for stroke, if you want to toggle through the various stroke options. Another great tool if you're working within your composition and you wanna just focus on that and you don't wanna see all this other clutter, if you hit this back quote button in the top left of your keyboard, that will maximize any window that you're in. That way everything else does not become a distraction for you. Okay, so let's move back down here into our composition window. I wanna move the keyframes and the beginning of the text layer one second into our comp. If you select open bracket in the top left, that is going to move the very beginning of your text layer to that framing point in your composition. Now, let's say I actually wanna have it start at one second and I've decided, you know, I don't want my keyframes anymore. If you hold option click, it's going to cut your text layer right there at that frame. 
and disregard all of the information prior to that framing point. The same goes for creating an endpoint, close bracket, and that's gonna push everything forward and have it end at that point. Right, but that's going to adjust all of the properties prior to that segment. But actually, I just want this clip to last one second, so I'm gonna option close bracket. But again, I wanna keep my scaling in there, so I'm going to option open bracket at the beginning of the clip here. And I do want this clip to actually only last one second, so I'm going to option close bracket here. For my playback, I want this to loop, so what I'm gonna have to do is adjust my work timeline. Right, my work comp. So we're gonna bring that there and to trim our composition to be just this one second duration is shift command X. And that's gonna give us a great one second loop of our text animation. I actually want that to be two seconds now so I need to undo that. I'm gonna command Z and that's gonna undo our work comp trim. Uh, but actually I wanna go back so I'm gonna redo that, that command. And if you hold shift command Z, it'll take you right back to what you just undid. Uh, if, if you're working fast, those are two great shortcuts to use. Command Z to undo and shift command Z to redo. So those are some of the main shortcuts you'll need to know to edit faster within After Effects. Again, if you want to customize any of these shortcuts within After Effects, what you'll do is you'll option command apostrophe and that's going to bring up your keyboard shortcut window within After Effects. All right guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you learned a lot in this video and I hope you take these shortcuts and add them to your workflow. And I think in a short amount of time, you're gonna see a huge improvement on how fast you can edit within After Effects. Like, comment, subscribe, add some topics that you'd like to know as a video editor who's just looking to learn new skill sets. So thanks so much guys and I will see you next time.